The Electoral Commission says it is procuring a new biometric voters management system at the cost of six million US dollars, which is lesser than the 15 million dollars for the refurbishment of the current system. Uh, the system, according to the deputy chairman in charge of operations at the Electoral Commission, Samuel Tete, says that the old system is obsolete and will cost the commission more than it will with the new system they intend to procure. According to the commission, the decision was taken based on the advice of its IT team and external consultants to the effect that it will be prudent to acquire a biometric management system. This, the commission says, is more cost-effective than refurbishing the current system. The amount of money spent refurbishing parts and renewing warranties could be used to acquire a brand new system that is robust modern and durable, user-friendly, with full functionality and warranties. The deputy chairman in charge of operations, Samuel Tete, said the equipment that the entire management system runs on is obsolete and no longer supports original equipment by the manufacturers. Reports from the immediate past vendors of the solution indicated that the commission would assume so much needless risk if steps were not taken to change the equipment. The EC says the inclusion of facial recognition will completely eliminate manual verification and will ensure that the will of the people stands and that every vote cast matters. This, it said, is the more reason the EC intends to prepare new voters register which will capture both fingerprints and face. Because we are unable to have a way of removing dead or deceased names from the register, almost always we have a bloated register. In effect, using such a periodic replacement register for subsequent elections will greatly affect the credibility of the elections.